Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today I am filming like an A through Z. There is a few that I'm missing because I don't have them. <clears throat> I don't have them on my physical TBR, and this is like an A to Z on my physical TBR. But there is also some that I threw in that I have read just as a recommendation for you guys. Like if, um, um, so there is some on there that I've read, but that just has a recommendation for you guys. That's how that's going. Anyway, first book. Starts with an A, and it's Archer's Voice. This is on my TBR. I have not read this yet. Um, so, this is a TBR for me that I need to read. And then the next one is Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. This is also another one that's on my TBR that I have to read. Most of these are on my TBR, but there is some that's not. And then the next one is Caraval. I have not read this, but I do have the other two books in the series, so I do, I will probably be picking this up at some point, but I'm just not in the mood to read this right now, so that's why I haven't read it. Then we have Dance of Thieves. This is also another duology. Um, I have not read this, so I'm excited, actually, because I've heard really good, really, really good things about this. All my girlies on um youtube that i be watching and talks about that the next one is eclipse i know that there's twilight and new moon before this one but i did read those two so i have this one that's for my e so f we're gonna do from blood and ash i tried my best not to do series and so far i've done all series i think no Archer's voice is in a series that there's a, like a second book to that that's not like you don't have to read it or whatever but I tried my best not to do series it didn't work out for me because I all I do is read series so I haven't read this yet this is a part of a video another video that I'm supposed to be doing that I haven't been doing yet so yeah there's this one then the next one I have read it's a good girl's guide to murder. I had no other way of, no other G that I haven't read. So, I did this one. And I am, I do want to do like a whole reread of the series around Halloween. Because that's when I get into my major like thriller era. era, era. Sorry. The next one we got is Hidden Pictures. I haven't read this one, but I've heard really good things about it. So, I'm kind of excited. I'm a little excited to get to read this. And, like, I think it's cool how, like, this... I don't know what this is about because, obviously, I haven't read it. But, I think it's cool when, like, books include, like, stuff like this. I'm guessing this is Hidden Pictures. Hence the name. But, I don't know. Um, so, yeah. I got... I'm excited to get to read that one. Then, the next one is The Inheritance Game. Um, I haven't read this, but I've heard really good things. So, I'm excited to read this. Everybody says, like, this is supposed to be a nice out retelling. So, to me, it gives me, like, carnival vibes, honestly. But, I don't think that's... I've honestly never heard what this book is about. So, I'm legitimately going to go into this line because... I don't read the back of the books, or in this case, this is a hardback. I don't read the, this part of the book. Then my next one is K. Oh, actually, it's actually J. But I don't have anything for J. I don't have anything on my bookshelf that has a J on it. So, I couldn't. I just, I know that's weird. Anyway, so I got the kiss quotation. Um, I've actually never read this. I've heard good things, but I've also heard bad things. Like, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. And I haven't been in my romance kick recently, so that's why I haven't read this. And then we have L, which is Love on the Brain. I haven't read this. I haven't even read the, um, Love Hypothesis by her. I don't even have that book, actually. But, I'm excited, honestly. Like, 
um, Destiny said this, is, this was one of her favorite romance reads. So, I'm really excited. I'm just not in my romance reading era right now. So, I feel like if I pick this up, I'm going to give it such a low rating because I'm not in that era. Um, so, the next one we have is M. And I'm going to, I chose Mary Jane. I'm pretty sure this is on my May TBR. I'm not too sure. I feel like I may have put it on there, but maybe I didn't. But, I didn't actually, no. But I'm going to read this in the summer. I feel like this is giving me summery vibes, obviously. She's at the beach, so. Thinking about reading this June, July, around that time. And then we got N, which this is also another already read book. Uh-uh. No, sir. Go. Go, go. I love you too, baby. This book is a, uh-uh. Stay in here. It's like, well, mommy, don't even know. Whatever. Um, this is also another already read book. I just love it so much that I just keep wanting to recommend it to you guys. November 9 by Colleen Hoover. Literally one of my favorite Colleen Hoover books. Favorite Colleen Hoover books. I just, I will literally keep rereading this book, honestly. More than likely, I will. And then, oh, we're at O. Oh, which is, I picked Once Upon a Broken Heart. I have not read this because I wanted to read the Caraval series before I read this one. So, I just need The Ballad of Never After and then A Curse of a curse for True Love, which I know that one's not out yet. But, um, I know The Ballad of Never After is out, but it's not out in paperback like this, at least not that I've seen. It's not on Amazon. It may be on, like, Barnes and Noble or something, but Amazon is not out in this cover, and this is the cover that I want, like the blue, I mean the purple one, like this, so that's why I don't have that one, which I know that y'all probably didn't know that anyway, but anyway, and then for P, we have Priceless, as y'all see, I've already read this, this will be a reread for me, because this is, was one of my favorite books, this is like a Christian based book on, um, and you do want to look at the trigger warnings with this one. It does deal with human trafficking. And if y'all ever um, heard of the band For King and Country, that's who wrote this book. That's who came out with this book. That's who came out with this movie. The two brothers that was on this. My fa One of my favorite movies. My f One of my favorite books. Like, it, I don't know what it is about it, but I just love it. And I will literally continue to have this on my shelf, reread it. Yeah. Then, on to my favorite series of literal all time. All time, okay. We have Queen of Shadows, which this is not the, obviously the series title. The series title is Throne of Glass, but... Throne of Glass is my favorite series. This is the book that I'm on. So, this is the one I have to read next. So, this will be getting read quick. Probably it will be read before this video is out. And then after that, you got Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and Kingdom of Ash. So, I only have four more books in the series. And I'm literally trying to savor it because I just love it so much. I already bought... This is the old copies. Okay, I bought the new copies. I have the hardbacks coming so I can put the little uh, nerdy ink ones on there. And then, yeah, so literal in love. Anyway, so for R, we have Rock Bottom Girl by Lucy Score. I didn't know that she had like a whole backlist of stuff that she wrote. I thought she started out with the things we never got over and like stuff but I guess things we never got over got like blew up and got popular so all of her other books started getting redone and pop more popular because it's had a different cover on it but I just like this one better so I got this one got this at Kroger guys Kroger who knew who knew my dog is chewing on a hanger and then for S we have Shadow of Bones, Shadow of Bones, Shadow and Bones, 
I hate the fact that these have these stickers on them, but they were only $13, so it's whatever. But I, I really need to get on this series. I just haven't done it yet, guys. And then we have Tea Witches or these Violent Delights. This is a duology. I think the second one is like, I wonder if it says it in this. You know how sometimes it says it, but sometimes it doesn't. I don't remember the name of it, but I know it's a, like a red book. I just don't remember the name. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't say it. It just says, I'll leave the rest for the author's note at the back of the sequel. Okay, it doesn't say it. Oh, that's sad. That's sad, guys. Anyway, this is like Shakespeare, I think, re retelling something like that. I'm not, I don't really remember. Beauty and the Beast. Something in that sense. There's some type of retelling of something. So, I gotta get the second one. So, yay, yay. And then we have another reread. I'm gonna pause for a second. Okay. Ugly Love. Another one. Of my, fa of my favorite Holly Kramer book. Ugly Love. Literally could continue to reread that one too. Then we have V. And I just chose the uh, Vow of Thieves because I did the Dance of Thieves. And this is the only the one I had, so. So, yeah, I chose this one. And then we have W, which I seen this. Where did I see this? No, no, sir. And I didn't know that she had other books besides what she's already had, guys. But, it's called, When the Sky Fell, fell on the, the Slender, Slendor, Slender, Slendor. For some reason, I can't say that word. But, it's by Emily Henry. Like, this is like a sci-fi book, I'm pretty sure. That is, it says, The Serpent King Meets Stranger Things. Isn't that weird? Emily Henry wrote a sci-fi book. It's not like her normal romance. I'm going to have to go look at all of her books to see if she actually, like, I mean, obviously she wrote it because it says Emily Henry. And I'm pretty sure this is before she became, like, came popular before her other books. I don't know, though, because this says in 2019. Give me a second. I'm literally so flabbergasted right now. This is 2020. Get your booty down. Sit down. It doesn't say what else she wrote in here. Sit. Okay. So she, this was, she wrote this in 2019. This one in 2020. I got one more over here left. I got book lovers. I think this is actually her newest release on it. Besides, um, Happy Place, which I do have that too. Yeah, this is 2022. So, I'm literally gonna go look her up and make sure that this is the same person. Because, uh, it says Emily Henry. Emily Henry. Emily Henry. So, I've never seen two different authors. With the same name, so who knows? Anyway, then we don't have anything for X because I don't know any books that even starts with an X, let alone do I have one. So we got U next, and U stands for you. Literally, I've never read this book. There's literally four in the series, and I've legitimately never even touched it. I didn't even know it was a book series, guys. Like, and then there's the second one. You love me. But I'm going to read this. I'm going to let you know how I like it. 
And then I have nothing for Z. I don't, I do know that they do have, um, Zodiac Academy. But I don't have that, so. I may end up getting it, I don't know. But, not right now. I'm on a big book buying ban. If y'all can't see what's behind me and the fact that every single one of these shelves have books behind it too, then I don't need no more. Okay, guys? Okay? Because this is the other room that I have all my books in. My other bookshelf is in there and that's what y'all see all the time. Anyway, love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see. And yeah, I, I do, I have pre-filmed almost all of these videos so a lot of these are gonna like y'all are gonna be like what time frame is this like she just i don't know they are all pre-filmed like i'm up to i think may 20th on videos right now like to have it all pre-filmed so i'm gonna put all these books away and probably start reading honestly anyway y'all have an amazing day love you guys